the US Space Force confirmed that a huge Chinese Long March rocket had mysteriously broken up and had scattered debris in a near-Earth orbit close to several of Elon Musk's Starlink satellites. This has brought a little-known terminology, the Kessler Syndrome, in focus. Today, we explain what is Kessler Syndrome and how hazardous it could be. Let's start with the fundamentals first. Space debris, also called space junk, are basically discarded launch vehicles or parts of a spacecraft that floats in space carrying a risk of collision with satellites or a space station. In simple words, satellites or any objects going in space have full potential of becoming space junk. Now, Kessler syndrome is a term used to describe the cascading and domino effect that one space junk could cause by colliding into another, which can give rise to a chain of such collisions. Two colliding satellites, spacecrafts or other space junks would break into many small pieces, further increasing the likelihood of collision in a dramatic snowball effect. Donald J. Kessler, a NASA scientist, had first proposed this term and discussed it in his paper that was titled Collision Frequency of Artificial Satellites. It was published in 1978. Earth's orbital space is vast and there are only about 5,000 active satellites. But it is estimated that there might be millions of pieces of space junk circling our planet from entire stages of rockets which can weigh several tons to inactive satellites, lost bits of space equipment, stray nuts and bolts and the broken fragments of orbital collisions. Most of those pieces are very tiny, smaller than a nickel. But they are orbiting at more than 25,000 km per hour. According to estimates, there are about 30,000 pieces of space junk large enough and fast enough to be a serious problem and potentially a disaster. And if you are thinking that this is not anything to be worried about, well, think again. Imagine a few pieces moving at such huge speed and giving rise to collisions in the low Earth orbit. This could prove cataclysmic for human beings if the junks collide and falls down on Earth. There have been already some close calls. In June this year, the International Space Station had to change its orbit to avoid debris from a Soviet-era satellite which was blown up in a new anti-satellite Russian test. So far, the International Space Station has had to avoid orbiting space debris more than 30 times during its 23-year mission. So what about cleaning up orbits? How can we remove the junk that is already up there? First, there is a natural process. Earth's atmosphere acts as a space junk waste management system by dragging objects into it where friction and compression heats them to burning point before they fall down. Then there are a few tests and measures being tested for this. The leader in this field are Singapore-based Astroscale. In collaboration with SSTL, they launched the ELSA-D system in March 2021. ELSA-D is testing rendezvous maneuvers needed to dock with space junk and then remove it. Another project is Clear Space One. Under contract to the European Space Agency, they are developing a spider clawed spacecraft to grab and deorbit old satellites. It has been planned for launch in 2025. In fact, the recent DART mission of NASA could be considered a sort of cleaning technology. These were important information about the Kessler syndrome. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching.